Kia ora and welcome. The Toshiba team welcome you to our parents' evening. Our aim for this evening is that you gain more knowledge about how we assess your child in a fun and interactive way. We hope that by the end of this evening you will be able to see how valuable your children are to us and how much we value you and your input as their parents. We hope you enjoy the night. So let's get started. Before we get into some activities, we are going to start with an icebreaker. In the bag underneath your seat, you will find a worksheet that looks something like the one up here on the screen. You will also find a pen. You will need to go around the room and find someone who best fits into each box on the form. This should take about 10 to 15 minutes. Have fun! We have set up five stations, each with a different activity to complete. Before we start the activities, you will be put into five groups. In the bag underneath your seats, you will find a coloured card which will allocate you to a group. We will have Team Kakariki, which is green, Team Kikorangi, which is blue, Team Karaka, which is orange, Team Fero, which is red, and Team Kofai, which is yellow. At each station, there will be a staff member who will assist you. They will let you know when it is time to move on to the next activity. At Activity 1, you will come and sign your name on the roll using your non-dominant hand. At Activity 2, you will put yourself in a line considering how well you perceive yourself in mathematics. At one end, not so good, and at the other end, very good. At Activity 3, you will put yourself into a line considering how well you perceive yourself in literacy. At one end, not so good, and at the other end, very good. At Activity 4, there will be a puzzle activity. You will get into pairs and go and complete one of the puzzles provided. There will be one puzzle for each pair. The last activity will be a water activity. Go and enjoy playing with some water using all of the equipment provided such as measuring cups, jugs and spoons. Go and have some fun and remember the staff will tell you when it is time to move on to the next activity. Here we have some examples of some mathematical learning. Our role as the teacher during these activities is to support the children's learning without directing it. It is important that we allow children the opportunity to initiate and learn through their play. This ensures that their learning experiences for the children are meaningful and relevant. Here we have some pictures of some meaningful learning experiences. For example, playing with blocks. The mathematical concepts to this play may not seem obvious, but there are so many valuable learning opportunities within tasks like this. This can be as simple as asking how many sides a block has, how many more or less is needed. Is your guess greater or less than mine? Here we have some examples of children learning through dramatic play and revisiting their learning experiences that have been documented for this purpose. Because these photos represent familiar and meaningful experiences to the child, it is more likely to facilitate motivation, confidence and skills with literacy. For example, children revisiting their portfolios allows teachers to strengthen the child's literacy by evaluating their current abilities with literature and how teachers can support, scaffold and extend on their learning. Our reason for documentation of children's work is so that we can analyse children's understandings, dispositions and interests as well as make learning visible for children and families. This is so that they can revisit and reflect on their experiences. Learning stories are a great way to assist us to truly get to know each child individually and their interests, strengths and needs and it highlights learning outcomes from the New Zealand Early Childhood Curriculum. Here are some examples of children learning and celebrating their play. We as teachers should always be there to celebrate our children and let them know that their play and learning is so valuable to us. So why the reason for the activities? The reason for these activities that we have done with you tonight is so that you as the parents and whānau are able to gain an understanding of what it is to be a young child and how essential and valuable their play really is. Through these activities we wanted to enforce how important play is to a child because play is a child's work. Through play, children gain and develop an understanding of how the world works around them. 
This is them making sense of their world. Children have many special characteristics that we as teachers need to recognise. During play, children develop new capacities for symbolising and representation, creating art, music and dance, as well as developing abilities with words and numbers. They also develop literacy and numeracy skills, including new purposes for language and cognition such as reasoning, verbal exploration, puzzling and finding out about both their social and physical worlds. National standards came into effect in English medium schools with pupils in years 1 to 8 in 2010. The standards set clear expectations that students need to meet in reading, writing and mathematics in the first eight years at school. We notice the child's interests. We recognise the child's learning opportunities and respond by extending their current interest. From this notice, recognise and responding, we can do our programme planning so we can document what next of children's learning through their interests. Assessment should be a two-way process. Children are participants in their own learning. This enables children to grow as competent and confident learners. As teachers, we notice children's strengths and interests as well as the challenges that they face. Before moving on to planning the assessment, we need to ensure that we notice the relationships in their learning experiences, such as the relationships between adults and children, children and their peers, the child and their environment. We need to include aspects such as what the child specifically did, who was coming up with the ideas such as who was leading the play and who was following the play, and the context in which the play took place. Through our socio-cultural assessment, we are able to encourage learning dispositions such as these. The importance of these dispositions are that they can influence the child's approach to experiences and tasks where they can develop strategies and skills that they will be able to contribute to future learning experiences. It is our responsibility as the teachers to recognise these learning dispositions and build on them alongside the children. We respond to children's learning by letting them know that their play is important and valuable. We respond by celebrating the children as individuals, celebrating their learning and identifying strategies to foster ongoing learning. We give the children the opportunity to contribute to their own learning assessment by asking them what they think they could do next to, to develop on their interests by having conversations with them about their learning and allowing them full access to their portfolios in order to revisit their past learning experiences. We believe that it is important for children to take ownership of their learning, allowing them to set their own goals and achieve them. This is what makes learning memorable and meaningful to them. Our early childhood curriculum is based on a socio-cultural approach and is based on how we assess as it allows us to observe children's interests and strengths. This helps us identify how we as teachers can assist children and scaffold them through their current interests and strengths rather than assessing what they cannot do. By assessing this way, we can also draw on children's funds of knowledge as we Gain knowledge from your parental views and your expertise about your child. An example could be a group of children playing in the sandpit. From this engaging activity, we can observe how the group of children play and build together, sharing ideas, negotiating, collaborating and resolving conflicts. It is important to us that your child's learning is accessible and understandable to you and that your experiences outside of the centre are included where you can also be involved in aspects of your children's learning. The way we assess includes the child's voice and to us this contributes to confident and capable learnings. We value you as parents and your expertise and believe that if we can build on your knowledge of your child, we can observe and, and access and according to what is best suited for your child at the current time and place. We value authentic assessment where children are naturally involved with friends or the environment. This allows children to be observed in settings they are comfortable in, giving teachers indication of their strengths in a variety of ways which includes speaking, moving, drawing and writing 
all in which include literacy and numeracy. We hope that you have really enjoyed your night. We trust that it has been informative, engaging, and that it has broadened your knowledge on how we assess your children and their learning. At this point, we would like to hear your feedback. If you have any questions, please feel free to join us for a hot beverage and some snacks. We will be available around the room for any questions that you might have. We are open to your questions and thoughts, and we highly value your feedback and expertise of your children. We believe that your expertise count as this also helps us in the way we assess. Your input is important to us as this makes our assessment more meaningful for your children. If 